Today I want to do a video about PLA outside. I live in Australia and this is my automatic gate opener. I built this about a year ago. Every part that is 3D printed is PLA and well it's been outside for a year. I've had to tighten the belt and lubricate the limit switches occasionally. This is a little sign I made with a button to open the gate. And it's printed on a pretty crappy resolution because it's reasonably thick. <clears throat> but that's in the sunlight and it has been for a year. Now I'll show you the underside of this because there are some 3D printed gears and bearing holders in here. This may not be the prettiest thing, but I can tell you it certainly beats opening the gate when it's pouring with rain. So taking a look at the actual taking a look at the actual opener, first of all the main pulley is PLA and I ran out of PLA halfway through, that's why it's yellow and black. The idler wheel, which has a bit of I suppose wear on it, is um, PLA. Underneath the bearing holders. PLA. It's been outside for a year, still works, and there's no real significant issues with it. Anyway, I don't know, that's just my experience. If anybody tells you that PLA is no good outside, well, I've had a different experience, and to be honest, I've also got some uh, PLA 3D printed parts in my car. And whilst they're not in direct sunlight, it does get pretty hot in your car in Australia. And you know what? I still haven't had any issues with that. Other people I know have had PLA prints melt in their car. This is just generic Chinese um, El Cheapo uh, PLA. Uh, and in case you're wondering, it's solar powered. It's run by Arduino. There's two limit switches there and a ultrasonic um, sensor there, so when you drive your car up, uh, it automatically opens. We also have key fobs in the car. Anyway, 